Oh, hi, yo, guys, I must say I am excited to be playing another visual novel today, and the visual novel demo, kind of like uh, Neko Power that I played previously. This one is Alt Milestone 1. It is by... It's published by Sekai Project, and it is developed by Alice in Dissonance. Not... I know Sekai Project, not too familiar with all this, and just now, of course, this is an indie visual novel, which, of course, most visual novels tend to be, so, and I'm not too into the visual novel thing. Um, not really sure what I'm supposed to click on here. There's a prologue that I don't know what it is, but might as well just, might as well just get started, right? In the time of your humankind have discovered had discarded mana, a natural occurring energy source that long pulsed throughout the crust of the world. Human can't, human can't, oh crap. Um, a hunter could use Pyrocravat to kill and cook their catch, or quarry, a path there could use Aquacravat to increase the potency of the healing potions, a carpenter could use Terracravat to strengthen the foundation at home, a man could use El, their existing mana crop, which were heavily unique only to certain individuals. Ooh. The path down. It is like fast stones. A little bit fast. A little bit fast for me. Path down uses man as a medium to transfer the memories and experience of the present ruler to the future heir to the throne. Mm. Humankind would deem those in possession of Harry Manakar to be monarchs. The propagation of the old king's whims through path down was evident enough to cement a country's reputation as a formidable Manakravat monarchy. Monarchy. Century ago, held by Don expanding this sphere of influence, the Manakravat monarchy started the period of exploration. Even the great seas were no match for their ambitions. The research of Manakravat for large scale sea warfare, the popular survival drove one monarch to expansion. Studying economy, the reason for another ambition drew many others. For the few Manakravat monarchies that survived, a count number of lives were present day developed. Should I even be talking? Because, God, they're too fast. Oh, uh, not work. Uh, secular secularism and popularity among the general public. Enlightenment was abundant in this new area ushered forth by Tom Kravat. Uh, God We now pass for of Hassan Hassel. San Hazi with us in the piece that was established in 60 years. Do you like. Do you like, uh. The common to Urgzen Hide? Um. There's a way to change text speed, auto text speed. I don't know if that would apply to this. If it did, I probably should have done that. Because I just missed a lot. Galvanize! So it appears there is mana of different forms, there is like genetic mana that is passed down through generation that determines monarchs, then there's people that devised mana internet, I guess. That's what com karate is. And then dudes died. And we are here at Rugzen Hayden Castle, the great heart of the Sky Terrence, and this is a really cool little menu down here. A spark shot and flame spread through the great hall. A small shadow ascended the spiral staircase to the sky terrace. Girl. Ah, I am the one who's reached the top of the castle first. A girl who appeared in order to child so we had the assault on Ragazen Hyde Castle and was the first to arrive at the highest point of its keep, the sky terrace. Exclamation point noise. Uh. Is this is this her talking? The girl, alert and aware, struck a defense pose and quickly scanned his house. She held her breath as she surveyed the terrace. Prior to the assault, the girl's party had received intelligence that the sky terrace was unguarded, that the object of their pursuit was secluded in the terrace. Multiple ellipsy points. In head of the fabled path down another cravat in the heiress to the throne, reveal your Princess Sophie, 
Roxanne, hide! You know there's no escape from this! The girl's short reverberating. The girl's shout reverberated throughout the empty terrace. There was no response to the girl's command, but she maintained her guard. Despite her appearance, the girl was an experienced hunter. She moved towards the center of the sky terrace. The short stature produced a slight, produced silent steps, precise and without waste. Multiple ellipses. She has to be here. Somewhere. With nothing in sight, the girl began to question the credibility. Doubt overtook her and she put her hat, hand to the right, to her right ear, and spoke aloud. Hey, Cyan. Cyan? Cyan? The Cyan? Can you hear me? If you can hear me, respond. You should still preoccupy. Until as long as the target's not here, nobody's here. So, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what to comment. I do like the art. It's, it's the character designs, eh, not my favorite, but I can live with it. I do like the backgrounds, though. The alcohol menu, um, it's nice. I like this. Feels fancy. Text is fine. Hmm? Towards the balcony. No solid wood dining. Solid wood dining table. At the center of the balcony. So put the test down below. Beautiful, I get think that's, you know, there was a uh, beautiful embroidery used draped over the table. There were several large dining chairs pushed underneath. Each constructed with solid wood and handcrafted with impeccable detail. Table and all of its amenities were works of art. Every object from the dining table to the decorations strategically placed throughout Sky Dinner was stream screamed of wealth. Perhaps overcome with the MP, the girl proceeded to correct a toppled dining chair at the head of the table and nonchalantly popped herself into the seat. A strange sensation shot through a small frame. A sensation that can only be described as the run of grandeur. Mm. Only a little bit of Napoleonic complexion. The other table looked at her ensemble and the girl, helping to come as the seat's previous occupant. The absurdity of it delighted her. Hee <laughs> hee! Slay him! Young caught commoner placed her boots onto the now soiled embroidery covered table, lounging back in the dining chair and relaxed her eyes. Her seat was the girl sitting in. Who could be so fortunate that you born such privilege to allow her seat so grand? The shrivel thoughts bounced around in the girl's mind. He 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 he. The chair was of little significance because they had since abandoned the chair and it was now hers. Fearing the lie of the castle on the seas. Royalty. If I could eat a chair like this every day, I'd be a lot of royalty. The girl peered around the castle town with Malky and saw the streets engulfed in flame. Beautiful. The town's just glowing. After her sarcastic soliloquy, the girl knows something else that she left to see. <laughs> oh, it's girl, too. Another girl stood at the entrance from where the first had entered. Mistress, my, my heart, my heart, Maria? Is that it? Maria? Maria! The girl addressed as Maria, who spawned to a civilized greeting with a special gesture of acknowledgement and an impassive wave of the hand. You <clears throat> can do the same feminine, you know. <clears throat> Let's see if I can manage another voice. Ew, you enjoy sitting seat coco! Asked Maria of her compartment, Coco in deadpan, almost intelligent to manner of speech. Not at all, Mistress. Mistress Maria never appears unnerved by anything we do. Coco silently thought to herself. Coco's compatriot apparent. Coco's compatriot apparent Maria appeared no older than Coco herself. Graced with the youthful looks, but stunted with a child's height. While Coco appeared overly belligerent, Maria appeared to exude an aura of Harmlessness at first glance, however, her foes were deceived by her aura of harmlessness. The hem of Maria's cloak was dyed from black to damp crimson with her victim's blood. I'm surprised you get up here without carrying the hem. Hmm, Maria jolted her head as Coco commented, puzzled, and a thorough question mark seemed to float over her head. 
Coco made no sense. Why are we in a good cloak? <coughs> no! <coughs> Wait, was it? No, no, he's a blue brush. That wasn't it at all, was it? No, Rush, if you didn't notice everything's on fire, that's plenty of reason to rush. The thick smoke and stench of blood polluted the air. Shrieks and explosions echoed throughout the risen Hyde castle. Even though Maya was at the center of the destruction, she was deaf to the orchestra of oblivion in the background. I love, I love that. I, I kind of, just kind of, overly grandeur. Orchestra of Oblivion. Mm. 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 I love Task. Ah. <clears throat> oh. Task near yeah, completion. No rush. You have a, you, you do have a point, but uh, Coco was the last for words to feed my my simple retort. Target where? I don't know what voice I'm going with, okay? I'm just throwing stuff out of here. See what you win in the comments about which one's the best. I probably won't do it for the rest of the time. Oh, hey, uh, the target! Well, she's not here. I guess Sian was uh, misinformed. Sian, be liable. Even Sian, wrong. We obey sister's borders? That's what we orders? Or borders? Oh, it wasn't a typo. Has stitched up my cocoa. Horus! This was normal. Now I often communicate through expressions and gestures rather than words. When his manner is in a slink, I'm flank, I'm a little thing to hold. Sorry about begging drinks. I'm not always talking, plan B. I'm breaking, bring up some plan B in the warm morning. Um. Doing these voices. Hard on my throat, such and destroy. I just. Oh, look at that. An expression. I go crazy, such a little kid. He he, funny. Coco made a distraught face at the thought of Plan B, a sight that entertained Maria. Maria took a slight joy in seeing Coco's distraught expression. Sure, laugh it up. Plan B it is. Let's split up and do a third check of the east and west wings. I'll take the east wing. I don't know if you heard, but uh, I tried blinking really close to the mic there. Yeah, I don't know if it picked up. What's What's wrong? Call shadow soldiers or escorts. I'll be fine without them. My friend and I have already just seen us. We're not warriors, so I'm not counting on encountering anyone. My ear was mad at mistress. Don't let overcome the man made card your judgment. Earth connected. And well formed, everything's gone according to the sister's line so far, but they may also need those 500 shade shoulders. And you stood! Sir Coco straight. Standing straight up, like a teacher before a teacher. Student before a teacher. It's never bad to expect them expected. That's all I meant. It's gay! I didn't expect it as brave and last one. Come from her! Uh. Maybe you would speak more plainly about things you felt more strongly about, a difficult task, some of a speech impediment. Logically, seeing that she only just recently can remember her vocabulary. Okay, even with her limited vocabulary and lack of citron. Oh. <coughs> even with her limited vocabulary and lack of situational awareness, Maria was no, in no way unintelligent. Coco, Maria, Savoyan, and Prime understood this as they split up a voice ringing out in Coco's. Not Coco's. Coco's idea. Coco, Coco! Can you hear me? Hmm? Wow. Yes, yeah, I can hear you. Everything's on your end. No, did it? I flooded the. and sealed the first, second, and third floors with my men. So, yeah, they're all dead. Now, unless their reinforcements start raining from the sky, there's nowhere there for them to breach the gate to the keep. Get a look at this! I just finished off those two guards, right? Seriously, they were double bushels. I didn't get more out of these snoozes in my sleep. Says the person who volunteered to guard the via. You wanted the action, you should have taken the lead. So, how are you think from the new end? Now, I'm only 15 minutes into this. What are you about? 
Um, Fine Channel Talks remind me you've got something splendid to do, Sam. Said the princess was in the sky terrace, but she's not here. Huh? She has to be there. If you check the balcony already, and scout the place until you find her. Psh, I know already. Alright, I'm gonna be sore from all this tomorrow. Tomorrow, a thorough sweep of the chest won't kill you, youngin. Says you, Cyan, why don't you come up here instead? Stop for time and go get going, Coco. Finish the way. Lay off! Bitch! Gotta admit, knocking this nation off its foundation took a lot less effort than I imagined. I know what you mean, the indestructible appears over your hands, didn't it? Some symbol of the mana cravat alliance, huh? Back that the mist. Just Manola took an active role in attack, but he had a lot to do with how easy it was. Who's Mistress Mala Melanon Mel Melatonin? Mel if I had to guess, ah, who cares, Mistress? So I know it's an awesome what you think of doing this. Have some faith, son. It's not like the Mistress Melanona could have done this on her own without us. Actually, I personally think she could have swung around the storm without us. I just got missing them and be shrewd. <gasps> You've got a point. I like that. I'm gonna go secure the seal. We'll seal. Going to go and secure and seal the remaining floors now. I hope you find the target soon. Cyan out. Coco out. This is Maria and Cyan. And get everything around. Everything sounds so simple. I'm almost feeling a little worried right now. Kiltzor is both of them. I'm just doing his final tell them too. As Coco turned her way back to the sky's parents. I better fight shut out the corner of the east wing. <laughs> Coco reacted a moment too late. What? Then of Coco's staff was sliced clean down. Mastiff! 